Hello and welcome to demo video of Swipe Billing app. In this video, we will showcase to you how to create invoices, record payments, and generate reports to simplify your business. You can visit app.getswipe.in and log in to your account by putting your mobile number. After entering the mobile number, you will get an OTP. Once you enter the OTP, you are logged into your dashboard. To set up your company details, you can go to the settings part. In the settings part, you can enter your company details, the trade name, company name, company phone number, email and the GST number. After you enter the GST number, you, you can also click on fetch details to fetch all the details of your company such as your billing details etc. After you have entered all the details, you can click on save and update and your company details will be updated. To start with the invoicing, you can go to the sales dashboard. In the sales dashboard on the right side, you can see the create invoice button. To start with your invoicing, you can click on the create invoice button where you have to add your customer. To add your customer, click on add new customer. You can also enter the phone number and email ID of your customer. To save the customer details, click on the save button. Then you can add your product. To add your product, click on add new product button. You can add whatever products you are selling. You can enter the selling price of your product and the tax percentage. You can even select if this price is including taxes or excluding taxes. For services, generally the price is excluding the taxes. You can also select the unit of your product. For example, in this case, I'll select pieces. To save your product, you can click on add item button. The product is now added. You can choose to increase the quantity by clicking here. You can also select the bank account or if you if if you want to receive it in cash. Notes and terms. You can add your own notes and terms in the invoice. If any discount percentage is to be given, you can give it here, product level discount or you can give extra discount also. Once all the details are free, you can click on save. After you have created the invoice, you can click on view button to view your invoice. This is the invoice preview. If you want to select any other template for your invoice, you can go to document settings and check out the templates that are available. There are multiple templates which are available. You can select any one of which template you want to use from here. For now, I have selected the evergreen template. You can also send this invoice via WhatsApp, email or SMS. This invoice is in pending state right now. If you want to record the payment for this invoice, you can click on the record payment button and you can record the payment and uh, also mention the mode in which you have received this payment. Similarly, you can create other documents such as purchases, purchase orders, debit notes. You can create quotations, pro forma invoices, delivery charts. Also, once you have created a quotation, you can simply convert that quotation into a sales invoice. Similarly, you can create, uh, you can convert a pro forma into a quotation or a sales invoice. You can also record your expenses in Swipe. To record your expenses, 
you can click on this create expense button you have to put the amount for which the expense was made the date of the expense category there are some pre-entered categories you can create your own category as well to create this expense you have to click on add expense button you can view your uh, you can view the expense created by clicking on view item to enter your products and services you can also go to this product and service section where you can add all your products in bulk using a excel template by clicking on this button and you can also use this window to edit all your products and services so if i want to edit the product balloon that i added earlier i click on the edit icon and here i can change anything that i want i can uh, change the prices or I can change the tax percentage. Then you can explore the inventory section where you can stock in and stock out all of your products. This you can do in bulk as well, or you can manually stock in choose or you can manually choose to stock in or stock out your products. In the payment section, you can check all the transactions customer and vendor wise. So let's take an example of any one customer from here. You can see all the transactions that have happened for this customer. If you want to record any amount for this customer, you can click on you bought and you can record the amount from here. This is the settlements page where you can check all the settlements. In the payments timeline page, you can check all the transactions that have happened by clicking on the date filter. You can also filter out this payment by modes. Next, if you want to bulk upload your customers and vendors, you can go to this screen and click on the download icon. To download the PDF, you can put all the details of the customers and vendor and then upload it to the software. You can also use this window to add new customer. The analytics section gives you a crisp of all the transactions happening in your account in pictorial format. You can check here the amount that you have received in cash and other bank accounts. You can also see the total sales, total purchases and total expenses that have been done from your account. The next is reports part. In the reports part, you can get comprehensive 25 plus reports of all the transactions that you have been doing in your account. You can see the profit and loss statement, the sales report, purchase report, sales return, purchase returns, quotations that you have created, delivery chalance, pro forma invoices, purchase orders, and expenses. Bill wise item report gives you bill wise report, that is, bill wise sales report, bill wise purchase report credit note, and so on. Similarly, you can also fetch item-wise report. You can see the stock summary, item-wise profit and loss, category-wise profit and loss, item-wise discount, and stock value report. Then party reports is there where you can check all the details, all the data of your customers and vendors, and you can also download it in Excel format. For your tax files, you can find the GSTR1, GSTR2B, and GSTR3B report. You can also get the sales summary by HSN report, TDS receivables, and TDS payables. In the next step, we are going to see how to create eWay bills in 10 seconds 
using swipe to create eWeebles you can go to the eWeebles section all the steps required for the login and integration are mentioned here you can also seek swipe's customer support help in order to do the integration for you once the integration is done you are ready to create eWeebles on swipe you can go to the sales dashboard and whatever invoices you have created you can click on create eway bill option to generate your eway bill for that particular invoice once you click on create eway bill you have to enter the details part a and b if you want to enter only part a or part b you can decide for yourself you can enter the transporter id and the vehicle number you can also put the distance in kilometers or you can put zero for automatic calculation once you have entered all the required details you can click on create eway bills to generate your eway bill to view your eway bills you can again go back to the eway bill section where you can view your eway bills so this is the eway bill that will be generated it has the eway bill number date validity transporter gst and distance in kilometers so this is all the required details that are mandatory similarly we can also create e invoices if you are doing business worth more than 10 crore rupees to create e invoices go to the e invoice dashboard and you have to do the e invoice integration from your e invoice portal all the steps are mentioned here however if you need any help you can see customer support from swipe once the setup is done you can go to the sales dashboard and try to create the e invoice for the invoice that you have generated click on create e invoice and a pop up will be shown where you can confirm all the details mentioned once you have checked the details click on create e invoice to generate your e invoice after your e invoice is generated You can go to the e invoice dashboard, and you can click on the view icon to view your e invoice. You can also generate an e way bill for this e invoice. Please note that this e way bill number will be mentioned on your e invoice, and the e invoice number will also be mentioned on your e way bill. Also, you can create this e way bills and e invoice from your mobile app also. If you want to show showcase your product online, you can use the online store feature in Swipe. to create your own online store you can go to the online store page you can create this online store on swipe domain or your custom domain as well you can see a demo online store created here these are the banners you can put your own banners you can create your own categories for the products the categories such as sweets mobiles baby food pet food you can create your own categories the customer visiting your online store can add items to the cart once all the items are added he can click on proceed to checkout once the customer checks out the cart he can see the modes for the payment cash and delivery and pay now option once the customer clicks on cash and delivery or pay now option the order will be successfully created the business owner can then see that order on his online store dashboard he can accept the order cancel the order or even edit it you can see all your pending orders accepted orders and completed orders by clicking on the section once the order is accepted and the payment is done you can click on view invoice to see the invoice If the order is not paid, if the order was placed by cash on delivery, then you can send this invoice to the customer for the payment. You can also create POS bills using Swipe. If you have a barcode scanner, you can simply scan the barcode of your product to add your product quickly. or else you can type the name of your product
you can type the name of your product and you can type the quantity to add it once the bill is uh, once the products are added in the bill you can check out you can select the mode of payment you can even select multiple modes for the payment you can choose to show qr code once the invoice is generated click on save and print to generate the invoice the invoice is now generated if you want to change anything in the pos you can go to pos settings and make the changes accordingly where you can upload your own logo that will be displayed on your pos invoice you can choose to give pos discount or not give any discount when you are making a pos bill once you have decided this changes for your account you can click on save and update So Swipe offers you a free lifetime plan where you can create GST bills for free. You can create unlimited bills and you can access it on unlimited devices. However, we have some premium features. So if you want to use any one of these features, you can upgrade to our plans that suit your requirement. So we have a pro plan and a jet plan. In pro plan, you can remove the Swipe branding from your invoices. You can get access to multiple invoice templates. You can use the Razorpay payment gateway to collect payments online. You can get access to all the GSTR reports. You can avail pri priority support. Bulk upload feature will be available if you take the pro plan. And you will also get 100 SMS credits for SMS marketing campaign. In Zplan, you get the eWebill feature, multiple users that you can add, and also multiple price lists and export invoice feature. You can compare all the pricing plans mentioned here. You can also add on custom features if you want to take the business plan. So this was the complete demo of Swipe Building application. In case you have any queries, you can visit our website getswipe.in or you can contact us on our customer support number. Thank you.